Welcome to a lesson on converting between American and metric units of length. Here are the conversions that we will be using in this video. Notice this first table deals strictly with length. I did include some conversions here for capacity, but this video will not provide examples for capacity or volume. We will be using the unit fraction method for the conversions in this video. And what that means is we're going to multiply by a unit fraction or fractions to do the conversions where the numerator will be the measurement unit we want in our answer and the denominator will be the measurement we want to change. Let's go and take a look at a few examples. Number one, we want to convert three meters to feet. The first step is to write three meters in fraction form, so we'll write three meters over one. Now we're going to multiply by a unit fraction based upon the information we can obtain from this table. We would like to find a conversion from meters to feet. In this row here, we see one meter is equal to 3.281 feet. We'll use this equation to write our unit fraction. Since we want meters to simplify out of our conversion, we'll write meters in the denominator, and our numerator will be feet. And again, the conversion is one meter is equal to 3.281 feet. Notice when we multiply these fractions together, the meters simplify out and we're left with three times and we're left with three times three point two eight one feet divided by one. Let's go ahead and find this product on the calculator. Three times three point two eight one. So three meters is approximately nine point eight four three feet. and we should change this to an approximate symbol. On number two, we want to convert six inches to centimeters, so we'll write six inches over one, and we'll go to the table and see if we can find a unit fraction to convert inches to centimeters. This first row states that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. So since we want inches to simplify out, we'll write inches in the denominator, and our numerator will be centimeters. Next, the conversion is one inch is equal to 2.540 centimeters. Notice when we multiply, the inches simplify out. It's very similar to number one. So our numerator is going to be six times 2.540 centimeters all over one. Let's go ahead and evaluate this on the calculator six times 2.540. So we can say that six inches is approximately equal to 15.24 centimeters. And number three, we want to convert 10 kilometers to miles. So we'll write 10 kilometers over one and then look for a unit fraction to do the conversion. And there is a conversion from kilometers to miles. 0 0.621 miles is equal to one kilometer. So we want kilometers in the denominator and miles in the numerator. And the conversion would be one kilometer is equal to 0 0.621 miles. Again, notice the kilometers would simplify out and we're left with 10 times 0.621 miles. We're multiplying by 10, that would just give us 6.21 miles over one. So this is approximately equal to 6.21 miles. Let's go and take a look at one that's a little more involved. On this last problem, we want to convert 55 miles per hour into kilometers per hour and then meters per second. So remember that this is a rate that can be written as a ratio. 55 miles per hour would be 55 miles per one hour. Notice the first conversion will be to kilometers per hour. Notice that our denominator is already in hours, so there's no conversion here with time, but there is a conversion here with the length. We did a similar conversion a moment ago. We want to convert miles to kilometers. Here's the conversion that we'll use. We're going to have miles in the denominator and kilometers in the numerator. 
so that the miles will simplify out. And again, the conversion is one kilometer is equal to 0.621 miles. So again, now the miles are gone. We're left with 55 kilometers in the numerator. And we're left with 0.621 hours in the denominator. But since we want this to be kilometers per one hour, we're going to have to divide 55 by 0.621. Let's go ahead and do that. So this is approximately 88.6 kilometers per hour. Next, we want to convert this into meters per second. Now we want to convert this into meters per second. So we'll write 88.6 kilometers per one hour. And now we want to convert this into meters per second. Since we want the result to be in meters per second, we need to convert kilometers to meters and hours to seconds. So we're going to have to multiply by several unit fractions. Let's first address the length of kilometers. Remember that 1,000 meters is equal to one kilometer. So if we want to convert kilometers to meters, we'd have kilometers in the denominator and meters in the numerator. And 1,000 meters is equal to one kilometer. Notice now that the kilometers are out and we're left with meters. Now we have to convert hours into seconds. So we'll take this one step at a time. If we want to convert hours into minutes, we know there's 60 minutes in one hour. Since we want the hours to simplify out, we'll have to have hours in the numerator, and our denominator is going to be minutes. The conversion is one hour equals 60 minutes. Notice now the hours are simplified out, and we're left with minutes. And now we can convert to seconds. We don't want minutes in our answer, so we'll have minutes in the numerator, and we'll have seconds in the denominator. And the conversion is one minute is equal to 60 seconds. Now the minutes are gone, and we're left with meters in the numerator and seconds in the denominator. So now we just have to find the product of these fractions. Our numerator is going to be 88.6 times 1,000 times 1 times 1. Multiplying the numerators together, we'd have 88,600 meters. Our denominator would be 1 times 1 times 60 times 60 seconds. That would be 3,600 seconds. Since we want our denominator to be one second, we'll just go ahead and divide this. So we'll have 88,600 divided by 3,600. Approximately 24.6 meters per second. Okay, that'll do it for this video. I hope you found these examples helpful. Thank you for watching.